Okay, so this is our lesson. How to find the inverse of one-to-one -one function. Let's begin first with the definition of one-to-one -one function. The function f is one-to-one -one if for any x of 1, x of 2 in the domain of f, then f of x of 1 equals f of x of 2. That is, the same y value is never paired with two different x values. The definition of inver inverse of one-to-one -one function is to let f be a one-to-one -one function with domain A and range B. Then, the inverse of f denoted f raised to negative 1 is a function with domain B and range A denoted by f raised to negative 1 of y equals x if and only if f of x equals y for any y in B. Okay, remember that a function has an inverse if and only if it is 1 to 1. Okay, we are going example number 1. Find the inverse of f of x equals 3x plus 1. So, the solution is to change the f of x to y. So, it becomes y equals 3x plus 1. And then, you interchange the x and y variables. So, pagpapalitin yung pwesto ng x and y. So then, we have now x equals 3y plus 1. Then, solve for y in terms of x. So, if you're going to transpose 1 to the other side, then if you transpose 1 to the other side, it will change the sign. And then, it becomes 3y equals x minus 1. Okay, to eliminate 3... We have to divide both sides by 3. Then we have to cancel 3. And y now is equal to x minus 1 over 3. Therefore, the inverse of f of x equals 3x plus 1 is f of negative 1 of x equals x minus 1 over 3. Okay, the next example is to find inverse of g of x equals x cubed minus 2. Okay. Um, the equation of the function now is y equals x cubed minus 2. You change g of x to y. And then, the second one is to interchange the x and y variables. Or you're going to change the position of x and y. Therefore, we have x equals y cubed minus 2. And then, uh, the next step is to transpose negative 2 to the other side. And then the next step is to solve for y in terms of x. So now we have x plus 2 equals y cubed. Then pinagpalit lang natin yung position para mas madali. Then to eliminate the exponent, okay, we cube root both sides. So we can cancel the exponent 3. Then now we have y equals the cube root of x plus 2. Therefore, the inverse of g of x equals x cubed minus 2 is f raised to negative 1 of x equals the cube root of x plus 2. Okay, another example is to find the inverse of the rational function f of x equals 2x plus 1 over 3x minus 4. And the solution, uh, again, we change f of x to y, so that is y equals 2x plus 1 over 3x minus 4. And then you interchange the position of x and y variable. So y becomes x and, the, and x becomes y. So we have now x equals 2y plus 1 over 3y minus 4. The next step is to cross multiply the x and 3y minus 4. So we have now x times 3y minus 4 equals 2y plus 1. And then simplify x times 3y equals 3xy and x times negative 4 equals negative 4x equals 2y plus 1. Then place all terms with y on the one side and those without y on the other side. So we have to transpose now the negative 4x to the right side and 1 to the left side. So now this is the new equation 3xy minus 2y equals 4x plus 1 okay so we factor out the common or we factor out y so that's why we have y times 3x minus 2 okay paano nakuha yun 
we divide or 3xy divided by y equals 3x. Negative y, 2y divided by y is negative 2. Then it is equal to 4x plus 1. And then solve for y. Okay. To eliminate 3x minus 2, we have to divide both sides um, by 3x minus 2. So, we can cancel 3x minus 2. Then now, we have y equals 4x plus 1 over 3x minus 2. Therefore, the inverse of the function is f raised to negative 1 of x equals 4x plus 1 over 3x minus 2. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and for more videos, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button below. Thank you.